Hello Fishhead friends, Joe here. So, my heater broke. Um, it's three or four years old, maybe. It's probably closer to three at the most, I think. It's an Aquatop uh, 300 watt. Spent most of its life in the 40 gallon. I actually got this for the 75, but it ran so long in the 40 gallon that now it's, now it's toast. Um, just now as I brought it down here, I noticed that this thing, it was up like that. I haven't touched this dial since I, um, set up the 75. I mean, this thing comes completely out. It's probably, possibly part of the cause, but you can see there's moisture in there. You can see down here, if I can get the glare out. You know, it looks covered in algae, and I've seen this stuff for a while. I was aware it was there. Every heater I've owned in the last maybe 10 years has been full of condensation. I've even had some heaters holding water down here, not just condensation, but like measurable water. It's really frustrating dealing with heaters nowadays. The best heater I've ever had was a used heater I got from a fish store it was a used heater they had running in a 20 gallon aquarium or a, i'm sorry 20 gallon terrarium and i got it used it ran and worked for like 20 or not 20 years my goodness it worked for like 10 years so i went out and i got myself a new eheim jaeger uh, that's you know hopefully it works good i have heard that they're not built like they used to be so, even if it lasts me, I guess, another three or four years, it was $35. It's not terrible, I guess. It sucks that they're, they don't build them to last. But, anyways, it's a 200-watt heater, meant for a little over 100 gallons. Should do just fine in my 75. I would have gotten the next step down, but they didn't have it at PetSmart. Um, again, it was... $35, I'm pretty sure. So now, I just want to go over the dial here. Because on my original one, I didn't understand what... I didn't I didn't get this whole deal. So I looked it up on YouTube. It's pretty simple. So right now, it's set to 79. Now I'm going to put it in my tank. I'm going to let it get up to heat. Check it tomorrow morning. Let it get up to temp. And if the thermometer reads 79 then it's spot on dialed in if it reads say 81 then i'll turn let's see if i can do this one-handed i'll turn the red dial and there's a little knob in the back i would turn it over so the arrow is pointing to the 81 and then that's calibrated to the true temp that's where the arrow is pointing to the true temp and then i can dial it down to 79, 80, whatever I want. So that's a quick overview of my understanding of how the calibration works. Hopefully I got that right. Um, I'll give it a try. If I realize I have it wrong, if it's a huge pain in the butt, I'll make another video, kind of let you guys know. If it's super easy, eh, you know, I'll talk about it in the next video probably. So with that, that's all I got for you guys, so have a good night.